Oh, today we're going to make uh, pancakes because it's show for Tuesday. So ordinarily I would just make uh, American Blue Buried Pancakes. But today I had actually, I've made it and I'm going to put it out just before tea time. So I've not been down to the, sh the shops. But I did have some summer fruits in the freezer. So I've just defrosted a couple of them and hopefully that will work. So straight away what we have here is 200 grams of self-raising flour to which I've added one teaspoon of baking powder. And you just want just a little dot of salt. Not a lot, just a little. Make a wee bit of a well. Traditionally, they always say to make a well. And I've mixed here 300 ml of full fat milk with one egg. So we'll just pop it in, not very well to the whole there, but there you go, and just give it a mix in. Now, I've also what I've got is a knob of melted butter. So we'll just add that, bring it all together, and get my pan on, it is hot already but I just took it off the heat for a second. Now all I've done is put a wee bit of oil on the brush because you don't want too much oil and just over the surface of the pan. Now if you want you can make these a couple at a time, if you want them round just make them one at a time and put them in the oven to stay warm. Try and get as many of the lumps out of this as possible, I did sieve my flour and I'll just give it a good old beat never bother with the mixer for this. It was some of your frustrations, your, te your tensions beating up your batter. Now again, depending on the size you want them, choose your utensil wisely. If you're wanting big ones, I go for the ladle. If you're wanting traditional size, just an ordinary tablespoon would be fine. But we're going to have them a fair old size today. Cut down on the main meal and have a pudding. Now, at this point, if you've used um, just blueberries that you would just buy, just put in about half your packet straight into the mix. I'm not doing it that way today because I don't have hundreds of fruit, so I'm going to just put some into the batter once it's in the pan. And I think, just for the sake of quickness, we'll just say it's good to go. You might want to try and get a wee bit more of these lumps out when you do it yourself. It should break down in the pan, so it'll be okay. Now don't worry because it's quite thick because it is an American batter so it will rise. Straight into the centre and give it just a wee dodge round. Now I don't know if you know traditionally you tell when a pancake's ready when it starts to bubble. So I'll just put the heat up a little bit and I'm just going to pop just a couple of bits of fruit throughout it. Now I'm not going to stand here and make them all, we'll just make this one and then I'll put up a picture afterward of what it looks like. Excuse me a second Kenny. I get a cloth. We'll just let that come up a wee bit. Whilst I'm waiting on that to, to rise and to start to cook, can I just say actually that um, people that follow the paper, follow these recipes and things, We'd see that I had put up a post this week about having lived with domestic violence, obviously long before I ever met Kenny. And I just want to say thank you very much for just all the, the words of support and encouragement I got for doing it. I'll, I'll be honest, it did take a leap of faith to do it. I was a wee bit worried about doing it. But anyway, we, we got around to it and we did do it. And uh, the response I've had has actually been fantastic. Can't believe it. So well over a thousand views already so thank you very very much and I just hope if you know somebody maybe that's in the same situation you could pass it on. There is light at the end of that tunnel and I'm with Kenny 27 years to prove the point. I realise I've not left out the spatula so I hope this is big enough but we'll just give it another second or two before we flip it so as it doesn't go all over the pan and I'm not doing the traditional no chance not on camera anyway. You can leave that one for when I'm working with the kids and we want a good laugh. Outtakes, another time maybe. We might try one later and stick in an outtake. But it's just starting to bubble now. You can just see it starting to come out. Wee bits of bubbles. So we'll just give it another minute or two, just a second or two. And it will be just about good to go. I'll maybe just turn it up. I don't know, I don't want to turn it up. I don't want it to burn too much. But 
What have you been up to this week? We've been out enjoying the sunshine. We've had terrible wind, mind you. Um, so we've unfortunately we've not managed to get out experimenting with our uh, drone yet. But we had uh, the remnants of Storm Freya. Never understand. They always talk about the weather, you know, and they always say we're getting storms, and we get them two days after everyone else, when everybody else has forgotten about them. But never mind. Then right, we'll just have a, a quick check. See how we're doing with this one. And give it, whoops, just a quick flip. And there you can see it's worked anyway. Sometimes you, your first one you're never too sure about because you're actually having to season the pan when you're doing your pancakes. But we'll just give that another second or two, pop it on a wee plate, and I'll continue and just start making them all. And we'll put our pictures afterwards. And I hope you enjoy your show Tuesday and give these a bash. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. So here we have our stack of pancakes with some lovely melted golden syrup and some summer fruits right over the top. I do hope you enjoy it. Give it a bash, let me know what you think. Happy Pancake Tuesday! <laughs>